Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, I hodl and I believe and I'm going to make a short TA video this morning for you guys, really short because that's not, not that there is that much happening in Bitcoin, but giving you my opinion on what I see in the charts. Let's quickly jump into those beautiful charts with all those colors, bam! I love you, babe. This is the first chart. Guys, four hours. I'm uh, always using the Oryx platform and the link is down below the video if you want to know more about Oryx. What do we see? We see this red line. This red line is a downward line. So we are finding resistance at that line. Every time again, we can't break it, we can't break it. And we just saw a four hour green candle popping up now there. And when did it happen? When we touched that green line. Every time we come near this 40,000 US dollar, there is a pump, a little pump. We will probably pump again to um, that red line. We first break that yellow line. If you look to the left, you can see that that yellow line was support and became resistance. So we need to break that line, the 42,360. Then we will go to that red line. And then it gets excited. If we break that red line again, we will go to that next yellow line and maybe pull back to that red line. So, like I always say, we could go up like this. If we break it, we come back, we test it, and then we can come up and maybe create then that new higher high than this one. That is the positive way. The um, If we <laughs> want to look at the bearish way, uh, guys, yes, then it also can happen and that we can't break it and that we are going down and then we come up again and then maybe even we go down to 38k why 38k um, that is what i'm going to show you right now um do you want to see the bam now nah, today i'm going to skip the bam the bam did good not that i'd skip it because it didn't do good because i can show you quickly it did good it gave the short um, exactly at the top over there so again you had a good short there, good long there, good short there, and I think they will be appearing long over here again. Um, but we need to have more green here to see that. Okay, now quickly jump into other charts. Why I think 38k um, could be a bearish target. You can see that over here because bam, there's a lot of whales waiting to buy up your weak hands. What does that mean? Did he buy up my weak hands? I don't have weak hands. If you sell your Bitcoins below 40k, then all these green buy orders there are ready to buy it all, all the way up till 38k. So all the Bitcoins that are being sold from now to 38k are being bought up by whales. And all that green volume that you see, all of that is buying up your Bitcoins. So the moment you start to sell, these are picking up your bitcoins. Bitcoin is not crashing to zero. These, the whales, buy up your bitcoins and they will ride the bull run. Now, back to BAM Oryx over here. I need to show you one more chart. Let's see. That is this one over here. This is the day chart. Um, on the day chart, I, I think I found a trend line. If you look at the COVID crash over there eh, in March, and then you take this green line where, where we pull back here to the bottom of that green line over there, and then that green line becomes a line, which is support again over there. And now almost becoming support over there. Eh? So to be clear, we went up, we came down, tested that green line, went up, came down, tested that green line, went up, coming down, now maybe testing that green line. Now, the cool part of this is, this is that that other green line, that is a moving average line, this one, that one is the, I'm going to show you like this, the 100 moving average. The red line is a 200 moving average. Every time we came close to the green line over here, we also came close to the 100 moving average and we found support. So if we find support at those moments uh, where this green line is, the 100 uh, moving average, that is a moment that we go up again. 
if we break that green line, the 200 of the 100 moving average, that is the moment we go down and we come and back to the line again later to go above it. We are still above it. So if I zoom in now on this day chart, we are finding support on the 100 day moving average. The resistance is at a 200 day moving average around the 45k. That, that is what the one we need to break to become a create a new a higher high. Uh, and if we break the 100 day moving average, we could fall back to that trend line, which is exactly at 38,900 US dollar. So that is how I now look at the charts. And um, so let's see if I have anything else. Bam, the five day chart, the Gaussian channel. We've been talking a lot about it in the V in our. Um, on our channel, we told each other if we don't break that top, we could retrace back to the midline. That is exactly what we did. That was the bearish scenario. If we don't break it, we can pull back to the midline. We found support on the midline. Now we need to go up again to the top, which is around 50k, in my opinion. <clears throat> Guys, do we have anything else? Yes, bam, one more thing the week chart. And I think that is the last, the last charts of today because I need to keep it short. Um, we need to find support, like I said yesterday and the day before, on that yellow line. Let's close this weekly candle in 4 days and 17 hours above that yellow 20 moving average on the weekly chart. That would be the most positive for me because that would be a long wick and a small body. Um, and then this one here, the red. Stay would stay red in my opinion. So that is how I look at the charts. That was everything for today. Like I said, really short <coughs> because I had two really busy days and I still uh, need to uh, spend some time with the family as well. Uh, guys, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Do you still believe in Plan B that we will go to 100k at the end of the year? I do. I still hold on my Bitcoin because I believe in the bigger picture of Bitcoin that we will go to 100,000 US dollar. I am not distracted of all the China FUD and all the other FUD and the SEC FUD that is being created because I believe in this industry, I believe in decentralization, I believe in DEXs, decentralized exchanges that are unstoppable in the future. So for me, there is no hurry to sell my Bitcoins. But if you want to multiply your Bitcoins, then trading could be a great option for you. And then the Bam Bam indicator could help you with that. Go to the BitcoinFamily.com if you want more information. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam! Yeah.